Hello boys and girls, we're going to have another look at our number of the week. But this week it isn't 12. I wonder can anybody shout out what they think our number of the week is going to be this week? Yeah, it is the number after 12. It's the number 13. Well done if you said that at home. And there was even a clue in the picture. Look, how many fingers do you think they're holding up? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Super. So let's see what we're going to learn about the number thirteen. So all about this number. Here is the number thirteen. How we would see it in school. Sometimes we might see it on the board. Maybe when we do the date. Maybe it's in your booklets. You might see it in different places in our classroom or maybe in your house. So I wonder if you could get your magic finger out and if you could have a go at drawing it in the air. Okay, ready? Well done. And then have a go at drawing the number three. So when you're drawing the number 13, remember you start with the number one and then the number three. Fabulous. So all about the number 13. We can show the number 13 in lots of different ways. There's one way you could do it. You could build it with some cubes in your classroom or at home. Can you think of any other ways that we could show the number 13? Yeah, we could use the Numicon. And just the way I've been showing you all of the other weeks, we start off with the number 10 Numicon and add on the other part of the number to make the numbers between 10 and 20. So for the number 13, it's 10 add, yeah, 10 add 3. Well done. So you might use Numicon, you might use blocks or cubes, or you might even use the number word. You might spell it. So boys and girls, what does this big massive word say? Yes, this is the number 13 that's been written as a word. So if you were writing about the number 13 in your sentence, then you would use the proper big word just like this. So here's our, our pneumocon shapes again. What number is this again? It is, it's the number 13 and we have built it with a 10 and a 3. But do you know boys and girls, there are different ways that you can use Numicon to make the number 13. So it's always great to start off with a 10 and 3, that's the easiest way for us to make the number 13. But there are other ways, can you think of any other ways? Maybe later on you could have a go. So here's the cubes and look they have built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in one tower and they've built another 3 beside it. So do you want to check and make sure that I've counted it properly? Fabulous. Sometimes you might even notice the number line in the classroom. That's another place where you might see the number 13. I wonder, can you point to the screen when you've, when you've spotted the number 13? See if you can find it. I'll give you a clue. It's in between the 12 and the 14. Okay, let's check to see if you've got it. Great, if you found that at home, it was the green number. Here's another number line. It looks a little bit different though, but all the numbers are in the same place. Can you find the number 13 again, boys and girls? Okay, let's check. Well done. Okay, we're going to do something with these lovely unicorns. And we're going to move 13 unicorns onto the rainbow. Ready? One, count with me. Two, three, wow, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we've got thirteen unicorns on the rainbow. How many do we have left over? Yeah, there's two left there. So we must have started with 13, 14, 15 unicorns because only 13 are on the rainbow. So let's double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Super, thank you for helping me there. Okay, this boy is called Ted and he needs to find the jar of sweets that has 13 in it. I wonder if you could count all of the sweets in each jar and find out which one has 13 in it. Those sweets look tasty, don't they? So if you need a little bit more time, you can pause the video. Okay, let's see if you're right. I'm sure you are. Well done. So I wonder boys and girls, have you noticed numbers can be used for labels too? So maybe you've noticed them on a bus or on a door. Have you ever seen a house with a number 13 on the door? Maybe you have. Have you ever looked for numbers in your home or on a walk to school? Numbers are everywhere. So maybe the next time that you're out and about, maybe on your daily walk, have a look and see if you can find the number 13 anywhere. You might even see it on some lampposts. It can be anywhere. So have a wee look the next time that you're out. Okay, some challenges for you to do, boys and girls. But the first question I would like you to answer is this. I wonder if you could tell me if the number 13 is an odd or an even number. So you might need to get your Numicon pictures out just to have a little look, a little double check. And I wonder if you can tell me if it's odd or even and why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's odd because the number 13 doesn't have a little friend beside it. It's very lonely, isn't it? Okay, let's have a go at some of these challenges. Okay, the first challenge is, I want you to find 13 small things around your house. Can you make two groups with the 13 things? So you can split them in two in any way that you want. And I want you to tell me how many little things are on either side. So for this one, this example, it showed you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on this side and there's three on this side but I wonder if you could find some small things about your house and show me another way that you could split 13 in two. Okay great. Let's do another challenge. Let's do the pink star. Oh, wow here's a Joe Wicks challenge for you. Can you do 13 squats? That's a good one. Okay, the orange challenge. Okay, you might need to find a brother or sister or somebody in school or maybe an adult in your house. Together, can you show me 13 fingers? And how many different ways could you do it? So well done boys and girls, you have learned a lot about the number 13. We think that you're experts on the number 13. I wonder can you give yourself 13 pats on your back or even give yourself 13 claps. Well done. Okay boys and girls, everybody in their little booklet should have a page that looks something like this. Everybody's will look slightly different but it'll have the number 13 on it somewhere. I would like you to complete this. Please try your best to 
take your time over it and make sure that you get the number 13 as neat as you can and if you have time it'd be lovely to see some pictures coloured in as well. When you finish that please do the challenge that's been set for you to record a video or send a picture to your teacher of you doing something 13 times. It might be your 13 squats or it might be one of those challenges that we've done previously. Um, you can even do something completely different. It might be 13 keepy ups or you could be jumping 13 times. It could be anything that you want to do it 13 times and let your teacher see. Well done boys and girls and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye.